Talk to me about the positioning of the merger. You've mentioned it twice now. We haven't spent any, I mean, I know we're probably going to do a full global force show someday. Not probably we will, but how, how was that discussed with Anthem? Like they were going to quote unquote, buy your footage and, and buy global force or what was the strategy or just talk me through that in a simple math equation, we will put a value on each episode of amped that's the 61 hour episodes and that value and it can be look you can pull a number out of there but what do we value a weekly episode of impact um okay it's not going to be worth impact because impact's been on the air and you know all, all that but we came up with the number of what an episode would would we value that they come up they came up with the valuation of the company as it stood in January of 2017. And then you kind of got into the negotiation. Right, what's Jeff's value? You know, where are we going with this? So when we merged the company, what would my percentage, and I'm be giving you really broad strokes, Conrad, and you can help me clean this up and wordsmithing it. But we were determined the value of my ownership of the, the, the new entity, which would have been a global force uh impact wrestling nuco so it, talk me through just the the timing of that and the finances of that as much as you can share well remember first conversation was november december 2016 amped right. was doing i had the 16 one hour episodes there you know we, we got a for lack of a better word, they're ready to air. You could clean them up and put, put, you know, you could splice in new content. You could do whatever you wanted to do, but that was content that could be aired. Um, and so that was a part of the original discussion from the very, very beginning. And there was discussions on how we arrive there and lots of discussion. But if, if we are like, let me back up even further. Everyone collectively kind of agreed that okay there, there's value in the name tna there's value in the name impact jeff you've over here outside of this you're creating a value in gfw you know wh where do we go with things how are we going to navigate our way and come up with a brand did we ever completely land on it that was more of a creative decision but for lack of a better word gfw presents impact because from the very beginning, Impact was the name of the T TNA show, not the name of the brand. I thought right. that was day one, how we confused everything. We went from TNA Presents Impact, TNA Presents Explosion, TNA Presents Bound for Glory. Then all of a sudden, it was Impact's the name of the company. But we were headed toward going back to GFW Presents Impact, GFW Presents Amped, if we were to get a, a second show, all that kind of stuff. So... Does that make sense, Conrad? I, I want to yes. make sure that I'm, I'm I'm drilling down on the answer to your question, but that was the vision we were headed at. Well, but we, you know, just to be plain speak, you guys yeah. have a dollar figure per hour, and there is going to be some sort of fulfillment where they're going to buy that out from you. No, I, I, I was going to get that percentage of shares. The value I got traded into. I, I have shares of the new company. I understand. 